If they reject it, they must provide a reason to prevent accidental rejections. Hey everyone, welcome to Join Coder. In this video, I'm going to show you the admin and customer roles in my first online POS project, built with Laravel. I've already covered the super admin role in a previous video, so if you haven't seen that yet, check it out on my channel. Also, the source code for this project is available on my Telegram channel, check the description for the link. Alright, let's log in as an admin and check out the dashboard. The dashboard layout is the same as the super admin role. Now let's add a category. I'll name it Table Flowers. As you can see, it appears in the category list and I can edit or delete it as needed. Next, I will add a product. I will select the category name, upload an image. and enter the product details. Oh, we got an error. This is caused by a debugging line in the product controller, so I need to comment it out. And let's try again. Now the product has been added successfully, and you can see it in the product list. For orders and sales, I will show the process when I log in and place an order as a customer. Regarding payments, the admin role only has viewing access to ensure security. For reports, the admin can fill their data just like the super admin. However, there are some differences in features between the two roles. I've restricted access to certain sensitive features for security reasons. That's why, for the admin role, you only see options like profile and change password. Now, let's move on to the customer role. Previously, I didn't show how to log in using Google and GitHub, so I'll demonstrate that now. Here, you can access directly to customer roles. I'll log in with Google, and as you can see, it takes me directly to the customer dashboard. Now I'll log out and register with an email and password. That works as well. Let's see what a customer can do. Customers can view products, services, and available menus on the homepage. Under the shop page, customers can search for items by name. Filter products by category. Filter by price. For example, if I set a minimum price of 16,000, only products above that price will be shown. Set both a minimum and maximum price range. Anyway, I have more projects like this to share. So, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe for more content. Now I will add an item to the cart. It redirects to the cart page. Customer can increase or decrease the quantity.
total price updates automatically. Cart notification also appears here. If customer wants to remove an item, they can click the cross button. To proceed with the order, they need to click the payment confirm button, which redirects to the payment page. Here, the account holder's name and number are already provided. The customer needs to transfer the money to this account and take a screenshot. Next, the customer fills in their name, phone number, and payment details, then uploads the payment screenshot and submits the order. Once submitted, the customer can check their order status. Now, let's switch to the admin role. Admin can see the number of pending requests on the dashboard. Clicking on it will show the transactions under orders. Here, the admin can see details like the customer's name, order code, and order status. Clicking on an order code reveals the order details, including the customer's name, phone number, order date, and payment information. To view the payment screenshot, the admin just needs to click on the image. The admin can then either confirm or reject the order. If they confirm, the status updates to Accepted in Order page. If they reject it, they must provide a reason to prevent accidental rejections. The order status will then display refund and reject in the order state. Now, let's check the database. Under status and reject reason, you can see the reason if the order was rejected. If the status is later changed to confirmed, the rejection reason will be removed from the database. and the admin can view customer details by clicking on the customer's name. In the dashboard, the admin can see successful orders and the sales charts update automatically. Now, the admin can also view sales information. Sales and order data are displayed on a daily basis. Data from previous days will not be shown to keep the records clean and make checking easier. Now, let's check the customer role again. Customer can see their updated order status. They can also review order details if needed. When customer clicks on an item image, they can view the item details and place an order from there. Customers can also rate products, leave comments, and provide feedback. If a product is rated 3 stars or higher, the review will be displayed on the homepage. For contacting the admin, there is a message feature where customers can send inquiries. Customers can also edit their profile and change their password. And that's all for my project. If you haven't downloaded the source code yet, be sure to check my Telegram channel. I have more exciting projects like this to share, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.